The latest data available shows 2019 was not a good year for reducing greenhouse gas emissions in Washington state. We've made great strides in our state's climate policies since this data came out, and we're really going to see that uh, in the coming years as, as future numbers come in. This Department of Ecology graph shows that 2019 greenhouse gas emissions are in fact up, though are still below a record high reached in 1999. Our greenhouse gas emissions from electricity generation were significantly higher than they've been in recent years. That's because we had a, a dry year. There wasn't that much water behind our state's dams. And so we had to rely on coal and natural gas to make up the, uh, the difference in that electrical generation. Experts are quick to point out that a lot has changed since those numbers were recorded in 2019, pointing to the Clean Energy Transformation Act that will require the state's power come from renewable resources by 2045. And then there's the new electric vehicle law in Washington state, which will require 100% of new passenger vehicles sold to run on zero emission technology in the next decade which begs the question, can the power grid handle a dramatic increase of, of electric vehicles on the road? There is uh, a number of state agencies working together on a plan to make sure that we have enough power for our electric vehicles, that we can make this transition to non-polluting transportation. All bad news, the state says they're looking to next year as they say they've made large strides in moving to renewable energy and say they're confident that future reports will reflect that. They add that the preliminary data from 2020 shows that that spike in emissions is short-lived. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.